right? So we got a drive ahead. He's out right there, so it's just us. Uh, and he's got a little week there, two bars in the end. We go three bars in the end, and no, it's just us, folks. And we won't be slowing down. Just gonna try to keep sitting together. Two, last threes here. <laughs> Hey guys, we're joined here with Gary Gillette, <laughs> and he's here to talk about all the fun that Missoula City Band gets to have every single week this summer. Okay, it's it's a it's a party that happens every single week, and uh, it's 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 so much fun to be able to uh, uh, go through the process of having rehearsals on Monday nights and then uh, putting together a concert for Wednesday. Uh, uh, sometimes even more than that. Or what, yeah, we've had, we've had uh, a few date changes this year, but we're all online now for rehearsing on Mondays uh, and then playing concerts at Wednesday out at Bonner Park. Yep. And your upcoming concerts, I uh, actually have two concerts coming up next week. Yep, yep. Tuesday, you have the 4th of <coughs> July special that's happening at the Missoula County Fairgrounds, not at the mall this year because of all the that's construction. Right. And forever. The word is, oh, really? the word is because of the of, of the construction and the the new format of the mall, what it's going to end up looking like, they no longer have that big open field for uh, the presentation of the fireworks. So it sounds like if this goes well, that uh, 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 the mall will continue to uh, to uh, sponsor the event, but the uh, will be over at the fairgrounds, cool. and the audience will be sitting uh, where the where the rides are. In that carnival area, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the band will be t packed up against the uh, Florida Culture Building, and then they'll blow off all the fireworks over in the uh, grandstands. But no one will be sitting there because the roof gets in the way of seeing the explosion. So there'll be no ground show, just great big uh, high flying uh, fireworks. And then we'll follow up with a concert the next day. Cool. And then the next concert the next day is going to have a lot of the same music, but more. The, and more. So we'll see how well rehearsal goes here on Monday, how much music we can uh, we can prepare. We have a couple of tunes uh, extra left over from our circus show, and we've got some soloists in, in town. It's always so much fun. Yeah. Uh, we had a soloist step up. Uh, Scott plays in the band, too. We had a, uh, I had a soloist bail last week, and... Uh, uh, I just asked somebody else to come do it. I just gave. Did you see me hand? A, I handed this tenor sax player the music as he came to the as he came up, put it on a stand. I said, "There it is, kid. Have at it." He's a he was a pro out of Seattle. God, that was fun. Allie Beatty's in town, so I think I'm going to pull out clarinet polka nice. before she runs off and does her doctorate in clarinet performance <laughs> at Ohio State. And I think Jay. I've just been uh, editing a piece. I think we're going to do I Can't Get No Satisfaction. We'll do a Stones tune uh, sometime here this week as well. Excellent. <laughs> so that's what you guys can expect this whole summer season. And um, also, what other concerts? You guys are going to go to Glacier this year? Right? No, no. Glacier, the, that band director of the Flathead Band is uh, um, uh, off in Europe for another year. So we're going to do an exchange with Glacier next year. But we got, uh, let's see. Uh, next week, the week after is... Uh, a uh, combined concert with uh, uh, Sweet Adelines. Nice. And then we do a we do a number of, I think we're doing four numbers with the Missoula Community Chorus. Uh, they'll be our guests at one of them. We're doing uh, our favorite son, Gary Herbert, will be here. Uh, and he's bringing friends with him. Nice. Uh, 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 we're doing a celebration uh, of the Thomas Marr. It's going on in Helena right now, but the 150th anniversary of his death. I, I, we, the, the Thomas Marr Bar here in town is paying for the Shamrockers to come down, and we'll do a concert with them. Cool. Caitlin Sisler and Jesse Docknall, Missoula's <laughs> cutest couple. And if you don't believe they're the Missoula's cutest couple, you just have to come and see. She's a singer and he's a saxophone player. <laughs> <laughs> so something something a little different every week to keep it fresh. Nice. 
And this is going to go on every, pretty much every single Wednesday until August. Yeah, through August. I think we played three. I think we played three. I added, I added a date because it, the weather is always so good in August, and I don't have to go back to school. So well, let's do another week. Yeah. What the heck? Well, that sounds like a nice little treat for sure for people who like to go to these concerts. Most of the concerts are going to be at Bonner Park. All, uh, all, pretty much all everything except the Fourth of July. Yeah. Every Wednesday night, <coughs> 8 p.m. Yep. Show up early to get a good spot. Yeah. Yep. Um, rehearsals are Monday night at seven. Yeah. If you are interested in breaking out that horn or instrument, I, I, I think we're going to have a guest from Turkey this week. He came up really? to me. Yeah, a clarinet player. I dared him. I just love having. Uh, Four nationals that are playing American patriotic music. I yeah. hope he shows up. This year, it seems like you have a good amount of uh, uh, imports because you said a couple people from California, there are. East Coast, West Coast, all over. Just people that come here in summer or vacation or have friends in town, and every week there's somebody else. There's five or six people that have no idea who they are or where they're from. <laughs> and then you never see them again. No, no, and it's that one-time shot. It's, that's so much fun. It, 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 uh, it keeps things really lively in the, in the band. It's fun. Yep, and MCAT also films all your concerts. God bless Ron Shaw, yep. every single one, man. Yep. Right over there where that old tree got blown down. Ron sets himself up, and then he posts things before he even goes to bed. Yep. That I woke up on Thursday <laughs> and saw one of those clips uh, uh, on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, we're. Uh, I've been showing Ron a couple things about social media here and there. Oh, okay. They're just like you should do it. It'd be great. And he's been like just going like crazy with the social I, media. And some some people really uh, get into that. You know, I, I I don't I don't do that myself. <laughs> but Amanda Tish, who runs the band, uh, she does that stuff, and it's it's great. It, cool. it it connects up to people in a way that they are used to communicating. Yep. And also be sure to like Missoula Community uh, yeah. Missoula City Band That's on right. Facebook. Please, and then uh, you can find out uh, where where we'll, we'll be at, who's coming up, what the, what kind of songs we'll be playing, who the guest soloists are, yeah. tidbits. All right. So once again, um, just tell people when and where we all are. This we are every Wednesday night at Bonner Park uh, at eight o'clock. That's where we're at. You can count on that one. And if you want to play, just like us on Facebook and come and play with us. I dare you. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> Thank you, This Scott. is Gary Gillette. He is the director of the Missoula City Band. and That's my job yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's his job now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Thank you, Scott.